All right, guys, before I decided to switch out the 33s onto the cart with the 18 inch tires, or even thought about spending as much as I did on the seats, I bought a stereo for this cart. And really and truly, I was only gonna do some black vinyl seat covers. And I was just gonna leave those 27s and 15s on the cart and use this as just a utility cart. But things change. Now my plan was to build a radio system or basically a radio console that would fit into the upper panel of the disc golf cart roof here. But once I put the seats in, I lost some headroom. And right now I can't because I'm almost touching this bar right here with my head. So I can't do that. So I'm gonna try to build a radio system for this cart. And we might try to Raptor line it as the same material as that right there is on today's video. So this is what I bought for the cart. It's just a Boss a Bluetooth a marine grade radio with speakers. So today we're gonna try to incorporate these and build something for the cart. So my plan was to build a console at the front part of the roof here. It's gonna house the radio in the front and the speakers underneath it. And after doing some measurements, the bar to bar is like 35 inches, but I have a flat spot on the bottom of this roof around 32 inches. I'm gonna try to fit four of those Boss speakers, I think that's what they are, Boss Marine speakers. I'm gonna try to fit four of them underneath firing down in the radio up front, just so we don't have to use up a lot of room back here. Majority of the room can stay up there. So I'm gonna make this project out of MDF. This was a sheet or part of a sheet I had left over. And it's measuring 31 wide or in that direction. It's measuring almost 35 in that direction. That's, so that's gonna be good for our top and bottom there. Hopefully we can just make it out of this one sheet here and I don't have to cut into the other sheet that I have. This it's a lot bigger than this one here is. So I got my little DeWalt contractor saw set up. only need seven and a half inches. I don't know if I should just go to eight, just and be done with it. Seven and a half there. I might just go uh, seven and five eighths. We can do seven and five eighths. Give us a little room on both sides. So that should be all we need there. need to go up a little bit higher and definitely don't want to forget a push stick i have ran my thumb through uh through actually this table before not paying attention so please pay attention if you're doing one of these as well but just want to double check my boards seven and five eighths Seven and five eighths. Use 34 and seven eighths. We only need 32. So the MDF is three quarter inches thick. We're gonna make this four inches tall. Um, it's one and a half. We need to cut two down to three inches. Even though the table saw has a good measurement here, you know, it's pretty much always, you know, within reasonable right. Uh, I still like to measure it. I don't know, it's just habit. Now I cut three pieces. I cut two of the pieces for the front and back side, and then I cut a third piece so I can cut it again and make the um, right side and the left side since this one's gonna be the front side and the back side. I went ahead off camera and I adjusted the fence to see if we can get this as close as we can for the longer pieces over here. So I need to measure for my sides here, these, this piece here and that piece over there. So I just took two scrap pieces of MDF cutoff. I'm flushing them up as best as I can here. 
measuring out looks like six inches so we need to cut two pieces off of this right here at six inches so this right here is my plan got my two side pieces here and there i got my longer pieces and i got the bottom on and i have one for the top as well i'm gonna think i'm gonna go ahead and get these glued up stapled into place or nailed into place obviously and um then we might go ahead and cut the holes for the top here or the bottom. I have built a sub box or two in my day, but I am not a pro. So if you're looking for the pros, this ain't that channel. Uh, I got the Airstrike by Ryobi cordless and uh, I'm using inch and a quarter uh, nails to hold this right here together. Uh, a lot of glue dries. I think I did decent, and I say I think I did decent because uh, I did see one nail exit there. I may have it exiting two or three spots. Like I said, guys, not perfect, not a professional. But I've had a stereo or two in high school. Yep, there's another one there. Anyways, that's what it is i keep telling myself this is a utility golf cart and i don't need a lot of stereo um, i'm trying to convince myself of that so this is what i ordered this is what we're going to build to put in here actually um, i don't know if i just already said it or not but i, I ordered four of these and and looking at it it's going to be real tight and i don't want to be getting to the point where I don't have enough room to put all four or, or I get three and there's not enough room for four and then I'll start all over again. So um, I've been trying to you know measure some things out, whatever. So I think I'm gonna just stick with two of these speakers, put them like in here, right? These are gonna be firing down. Then I'm gonna mount the radio here into the side. I think I'm gonna put the, maybe a Navitas controller and maybe like a little switch box over here or something. I might even uh, opt for like a little dome light here in the middle to give us some light if we ever need that inside the cart. So I got my holes uh, drew out. I'm pretty close on this. Not a hundred percent, but the box is 32 long i got a halfway to batter at 16. i'm eight off of here i'm eight off of here and um got the two speakers there Well, there it is, guys. What do you think? A little bit of gap here. Not much of gap there. A little bit here and not much there. They not look okay on there. All right, guys. I'm going to sand this right here and try to get it semi-flat. I do have like a nail right here. Might end up having to work with that. But trying to get everything kind of smooth, you know. I, but that's what I'm going to do when I have 40 grit on here.
So I'm kind of thinking this would look good with maybe a uh, maybe a 45 on the edge. I don't know about rounding it over. I think rounding it over would look good too. Not sure yet. So I think another thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut the hole here for the radio next. And maybe we'll see after that exactly what it looks like. All right, so I got four and a half inches thick. That's gonna be two and a quarter. Got our center mark there. And I want to say this called for a uh, a three inch hole saw. I'm not sure if I got one or not, so we're gonna have to see exactly what we can do. Oh, yeah. I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Well, did y'all spot the mistake I made during this build? And if you did, great job. If you didn't, let me show you. I picked up the tape measure to say, well, let me see. Well, I'm at 13 and 3 eighths right here. And I'm at 14 and 3 eighths right here. And looking on here, this is a 15 inch line here. This is a 15 inch line here, a mark 15 from here to there, 15 from there to there. And I use this instead of this. So I am one inch to the passenger side versus the driver side. Golly. And it's aggravating guys. The thing is, I'm not going to change it. I'm not gonna replace that. Uh, it is what it is, but Everyone makes mistakes, and I just wanted to show you that one. That half an inch right there, or whatever that is. Let's see what that is. Yep, half an inch. Bothers the living piss out of me right there. There it is, guys. I went ahead and I ovaled the hole. And by doing that, I was able to get this down and pretty much lined up in the center of that line there. I have 13 and uh, 7 eighths on this side here, or let's see, right there at 13 and almost 7 eighths. And then on this side here, right at almost 13 and 7 eighths. So it's there. I, I just had to do that. Uh, makes me feel better. So I was thinking that if we had enough cable, obviously we're gonna put the radio here. This is the Oxbeam six panel switch box. And I, this will be included in another video here. And I have the Navitas uh, remote on the controller there. It'd be neat so I could put some of this uh, stuff here, mount it up and out of the way so you can't see it. All right, got the Raptor liner sprayed onto the box itself right there. Looks pretty good. I had just about a whole can of this Raptor liner spray in this old cooler by Arctic. I didn't have time to take these handles off, so I just rushed it. So anyways, it's gotta look better than it did, which was white and all different kinds of paint on it. I've used it with all different kinds of things and uh, what I might do is just strap it to the back of the
Cushman. Both of these remotes here, this is the Navitas. This is an M5 um, spec right there for those uh, nut certs. This right here takes a M3. Went to the hardware store, I got one inches long on both of those. And I'm gonna place them like one here. I'll place one here and I'm gonna try to run all the wires behind both of the remotes into the box so you don't see those and maybe have them pop out, you know, over here somewhere and go down into the rail. But that's my plan. This was my idea of installing it all along. And trying to get it as close as I can to the front here. However, what's happening is the front comes up a little bit here on the sides and not down there. So I need to center this up. So this is the bolts that I chose. So it's got an Allen head bolt, it's got a black washer, and then I got a rubber washer to go underneath it. And inside of the box is gonna have a regular washer with a nylon locking nut. While I was there, I was thinking about if I could have just mounted the box here to the actual uprights themselves, that would probably be better in my opinion. If I would go through the top as well, it's gonna actually hang down a little bit further. And right now it's out of uh, eyesight. So if it hangs much further down, it's just gonna start getting into where you can and cannot see and you have to look up underneath. So that's one reason that I went with this right here set up here. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and mount the unit here back to the top. Once we have the unit mounted to the top, then we go ahead and get the speakers loaded in there. So I had to drill a hole in the upper um, roof support there. I had to make it oblong. The reason I did that is to get the Navitas plug not only in it, but at an angle to feed around these tubes here. All right, guys, so I don't have a fish tape. Let me show you exactly what I use here. And if you may be familiar with that color already, that's ran down in here all the way here. And that is just steel weed eater string. It's rigid enough to be able to push through the tube all the way up and into here. And after I'm done with this right here, I can just wrap it back up and reuse it. And it's no waste at all. So if you do not have a fish tape, weed eater string works pretty good. And to be more exact, I believe this is 095. So, I'm about, probably about four feet in. You can see some wire through those holes there. I'm thinking I'm around this, this corner here, starting to get tough. All right guys, with the help of my son, we were able to pull these wires through the tube here. Next thing we gotta do is hook up this power wire here and run some of the other wires. And we'll be back when it's done. There it is guys, this project is done and I really like the way it came out. I'm happy with it. The radio sounds good. The uh, speakers does not provide a lot of bass, but you know, maybe a little bit of mid bass. Um, we did not mount the USB that comes with the radio or the auxiliary port on the outside of the box. We can still mount those at another time. However, uh, right now this has AM, FM, radio, and Bluetooth. And if you ask me, it sounds pretty good. Now, where this is in correlation with the front of the roof, you can see the front roof is pretty much level with the front of the roof. So it does not block the vision of seeing out the front of the cart. I think it looks really good, especially with the Navitas OTF right there as well. 
and the aux beam six gain light switch panel. 